Here we have a city math question. Okay, let's go to the information. So we have a quadratic equation over here. There is 64 x square negative of 16 a positive 4 b times x positive a b equals to zero. In the given equation, a and b are positive constants. The sum of the solutions to the given equation is uh, k times 4a positive b, where k is a constant. What is the value of uh, k? Okay, here we have the quadratic equation in standard form. That is uh, a x square positive b x uh, positive c equals to zero. Okay, whenever uh, we have a quadratic equation in standard form, that is in this form, we will be able to find uh, some of the solutions without solving the equation properly. So, because there is a formula to find some of the two solutions, let me write the stuff over here. Sum of the uh, two solutions is equal to, let me write it. To get the uh, sum of the two solutions, what I have to do is I have to take negative sign and the coefficient of x that is b over the coefficient of uh, x squared that is a. So this is a formula to get uh, sum of the two solutions of a quadratic equation. So which is written in standard form a x squared positive x positive c equals to zero. Okay, here our quadratic equation is also written in standard form. Uh, because it's in the form of ax square uh, positive ax positive c equals to zero. Comparing this and this, uh, what is the value of a and what is the value of b? So a is the coefficient of x square. Here the coefficient of x square is uh, 64. And uh, b is the coefficient of x. Here the coefficient of x is a uh, negative of uh, 16a positive 4b. Okay, already we have the sum of the solutions uh, for this given quadratic equation. That is k times uh, 4a positive b. Okay, let me write that sum of the uh, two solutions. Let me write it. Some of the two solutions equals to k times 4a positive b. This, this is given in the question itself. So just now we saw the formula to get some of the two solutions of a quadratic equation. That is negative uh, b over a equals to uh, k times 4a positive b. Okay, now, uh, so we know the value of b that is negative of uh, 16a positive 4b that we can plug in for b over here. Then I'm getting negative of 16a positive 4b over the value of a is a coefficient of x squared. That's uh, in this case, it's 64 equals to uh, k times uh, 4a positive b. Okay, negative times negative will become positive. Then I'm getting 16a positive 4b over 64 equals to k times uh, 4a positive b. Okay, here uh, when I look at the expression in numerator, uh, both 16a and 4b are the greatest common divisor of 4. So we can uh, factor 4 out. So if I factor 4 out, then I'm getting 4 times uh, 4a positive b over 64 equals to k times uh, 4a positive b. So because even if I distribute this 4 to this 4a, uh, 16a, 4 to this b it is uh, 4b, I'm getting this expression in numerator. Okay, now 4 goes into 4 1 times and 4 goes into 64 uh, 16 times. So I'm getting a 4a positive b over 16 uh, equals to k times a 4a positive b. Okay, here I find 4a positive b, here I find 4a positive b. So to get that this 4a positive b, I multiply both sides by 1 over 4a positive b. Let me write it 1 over 4a positive b. I multiply both sides by 1 over 4a positive b. This 4a positive b 1 times and the 4a positive b goes in this one 1 times. And here the same thing will cancel out. So 1 times 1 is 1 uh, over 16. On the right side, we just have k. I got the value of k. The value of k is uh, 1 over 16.